Are you a violinist who's experiencing shaky bow syndrome? Well, in this video, I'm gonna help you fix the shaky bow syndrome. So please make sure to watch until the end of the video. Hi, my name is Eric, I'm a violinist. If we haven't met, thank you so much for coming across this YouTube channel. I do a lot of vlogs, violin how-to tutorials, and other violin videos. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please make sure to subscribe, hit those bell notifications, so that way you get updated when videos come out. A common problem amongst beginner violinists is preventing shaky bow syndrome. What is shaky bow syndrome? Shaky bow syndrome is where you have a down bow or an up bow, you know how to hold the bow, you know how to grip the bow, you know, you've worked with your teacher many, many times on how to have a good bow grip, but as you pull the bow down, it shakes. And typically you might find that the shakiness happens between the middle bow and the upper half of the bow. So we're gonna go step by step today and how to help you fix that. Assuming that you already worked on a good bow hold with your teacher, this, um, this you need to kind of have a prerequisite for that. But if you don't know how to hold your bow and you need a quick tutorial, I'm gonna link a card right up here so you can click on it, pause this video, go to that one, see if you can fix that bow hold and then come back to this one. Assuming that you have worked on your bow hold, I usually teach a uh, Belgian Franco bow hold, which means that all the fingers are bent, the pinky is bent, the thumb is bent, and number one thing that you should work on is the angle of where you put the bow on the string. What does that mean exactly? So what that means is that instead of having an angle like this or like this, your bow is perpendicular to the string. And right now my bow is actually on the A string so I could pull it. The second quick tip that I recommend is not pressing so hard with your bow. As violinists, we happen to have a, a really, really uh, tense bow grip by pressing in with our thumb. We really don't want that because when we press with our bow, we actually choke the sound on our violin. So we get that really aggressive sound when we press with the thumb. You should always make sure that you have a very relaxed bow hand or else this is not going to work. Now let's address the, the elephant in the room, which is shaky bow syndrome. So when I put my bow on the violin string, very often times you'll have students do, you might have noticed that little wobble in this area, this is middle bow, a little bit above middle bow. There are a couple reasons for that. Number one is that you're pressing with your thumb or you're squeezing with some finger on your right bow hold. Number two, it could be a result of having some tension in your bow arm. So when we you know we talked about earlier about the, the bow angle, that's very important. And what I teach my students is having a, a square and you might notice I have a square here. I talk about this in my other videos. But when I go down, my elbow really doesn't move left and right. The one rule I give my students is that when they're starting out, the elbow is allowed to go up and down, is never allowed to go left and right. Unless you have short arms and you know each body is different, of course, right? So that is by a case by case basis. But generally speaking, I have all my students, you know, work on the elbow. So I keep my elbow in place. Let's see if I can do a regular down bow and I relax my bow hold. And I actually let the bow do the majority of the work. And typically bows range between 60 grams and 62 grams. I think mine is around 60 or 61. So it's light enough yet heavy enough to produce a sound and I don't have to grip it so hard. Let the bow do the work. Last but not least, when you're doing a down bow and you're a beginner, see if you could extend your biceps, your muscles that are right here, because many students tend to do runner's arm. So they not only do they squeeze with their bow hold, but they keep their elbow locked and they keep their bicep tense and they move the bow as such, like as if we're, um, you know, banging on someone else's door with, the, with my elbow. We don't want that. So making sure that we relax all the muscles in our body to do a down bow. And up 
And again, I'm just simply letting my hand guide the bow up and down. And extending that arm and that forearm is really crucial because that way you will reduce the wobbliness and the shaky bow syndrome that we all experience sometimes. Thanks for watching this YouTube tutorial on how to prevent a shaky bow. If you like what you saw, if you like what you've heard, if you like the tips that are provided today, it really means a lot to subscribe and hit those bell notifications. It helps me a lot as a content creator to provide content for you for free, free of charge. All right, so please make sure to hit the subscribe button, hit those bell notifications, and I'll see you in the next video.